Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. Today I am going to do a Branch Basics dishwasher detergent review for you guys. So I'm gonna show you guys one of Branch Basics newest items. These are their dishwasher tablets. This is a brand new item from them. I saw it and I don't know if you guys remember, but in my non-toxic swap kitchen video, I talked about how I didn't have a safer swap for dishwasher detergent. And I had considered using the Branch Basics um, concentrate, the liquid concentrate for dishwasher uh, detergent. I just hadn't tried it yet. Well, speak of the devil, <laughs> Branch Basics came out with legit dishwasher tablets. It's like they read my mind, right? Don't you love when that happens? <laughs> so these just came a couple days ago. I have yet to try them. I wanted to wait and make this video for you guys. So here we are. Um, they have, it comes in a little bag. There are, let me see what it says. There are 40 tablets in here. This is 11.3 ounce. It comes with a plastic bag. It's resealable. There's a Ziploc thing in here. And it comes with a pull open. <laughs> okay. And then when you open it up, this is what this is what they look like. It's teeny tiny. I'm totally not used to this, right? I'm used to like the big honkin' ones you buy at Walmart. <laughs> All right, so it says, the directions are to place one tablet in the dishwasher, close in the dishwasher dispenser, close the dispenser, and then run your preferred cycle. Then you're to reseal these and store them in a cool, dry place. Easy peasy, right? I'm actually gonna do something really gross. And I'm gonna show you guys the inside of my dishwasher. I have a, excuse me, a load of dishes ready to wash. And um, I don't know, we're gonna see how this goes. I absolutely love the Branch Basics laundry detergent. You guys know I rant and rave about that all the time. And it's versatility that you can use it for so many other things like all purpose cleaner, window cleaner, blah, blah, blah. But, we're gonna try these. Um, never tried them before. Like I said, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna show you the inside of my dishwasher. I'm gonna run it. I run my dishwasher. This is a Whirlpool dishwasher. We run it on a one hour wash with heat dry. Normally, I would run it on like a heavy, heavy wash with a heat dry and it would take like four hours to do that. Well, this bad boy started leaking we couldn't figure out what the problem was. We've torn it all apart. My husband is very, very handy. He knows mechanical things. Um, we tore it all apart. We couldn't figure it out. We started running it on one hour wash. We're pretty sure the seal is going out of it <laughs> because when the seal gets too heated, it starts to leak. So that's on our list of things to do. That'll probably be another video coming at you guys of how we fix the seal on this dishwasher. But anyway, it still functions, it still works. We use it on one hour wash. Um, our dishes with, you know, the great value brand dishwasher tablets, um, they come out clean 90% of the time. The remaining 10, I don't think is on the dishwasher tab. I think it's this dishwasher. I don't know if I'm a fan of it or not. <laughs> Okay, I'm opening this dishwasher. Now, this is like real life, people. Super gross. <laughs> no, I don't think these dishes are even super terrible. We just got coffee cups, cereal bowls. I mean, and we try to rinse everything prior. You know, this is definitely like gross stuff here. Silverware, some bowls. There we go, you can see some dirtiness here. All right, so I am going to put one little tab down in, close the dispenser. I'm gonna fix the spoon because it's gonna fall out if I don't. And then, and then I'm just gonna shut the lid. Put it on one hour wash, heat dry start and we will see how it does. This is an honest review here, people. So my dishwasher is done. Crack it open together here and see how it did. So the 
silverware looks pretty good. Plates all look pretty good. A little bit of something there, but not much of anything. A little bit of something there. I'm gonna go through them and see how much has anything left on it and then um, how much of it is good to go. So there is all that was left. We have that little piece there. Some stuff here. Some gunk on some spoons. That junk there. And then the spatula didn't come real clean either. But, I mean, I feel like a lot of that is probably our error just as much. So I'm excited to try these again and see how well they do, you know, the next few, try the next few washes as well. I will keep you posted.